In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called determining n behavior and intercepts to graph a polynomial function. We're given the polynomial function f of x, and before graphing, we're asked a few questions. First, to choose the n behavior for the graph of x, and to do so, I can look at the leading coefficient and the degree of this polynomial. However, since it's factored, I can look at each one of these variables that are ultimately being multiplied and see that we have an x squared. From the next term we have another x, but since the x plus 1 is being squared, the leading coefficient once we square that will again be an x squared. And then from the last term we have just an x. So if we were to multiply all of these out, our leading term would be x squared times x squared times x, or an x to the fifth. And so to determine the end behavior, I can see that my leading coefficient is positive and that my degree is odd. So positive coefficient and odd means that the end behavior would be the same as a regular y equals x. So this is a, a simpler example of positive coefficient, odd degree, and I know that this has the general shape of going down to the left and up to the right. Down to the left, up to the right is going to be our end behavior. And just to review, if it would have been a negative leading coefficient and odd, it would have been the same end behavior as y equals negative x, up to the left, down to the right. If we would have had positive coefficient and even, even if the degree was 4, 6, and so on, the end behavior would be the same as y equals x squared, which would be up to the left and up to the right. If we would have had a negative leading coefficient and an even degree, then we would have had the opposite, down to the left and down to the right. So we use our basic shapes and end behaviors to determine other end behaviors based on the sign of the leading coefficient and whether the degree is even or odd. So we have determined end behavior. Next, we're asked to find each of the zeros and whether it crosses or touches the x-axis at those zeros. So first to find the zeros, I'll look at each of these terms that are being multiplied and say that if the end result is zero, then either that first term, x squared, must be zero, or the second, x plus one squared, must be zero, or the last term, x minus one, must be zero. So to solve for each one of these, the first one, x squared, is x times x equals zero. So we get two solutions, either x is zero, or the second, x is 0. So we have 0 with a multiplicity of 2. Moving to the next one, x plus 1 squared is 0. So x plus 1 times x plus 1 is 0. So here again, either x plus 1 is 0, which means x is negative 1. And from the second part, the same. x plus 1 is 0, so x is minus 1. So far we have two zeros. 0 with a multiplicity of 2 and negative 1 with a multiplicity of 2. And our last here, x minus 1 equals 0, means that x equals 1. So we have a 0 at 1, and this time the multiplicity is 1. So we have answered b. It will cross the x-axis where the multiplicity is odd, which is at 1, and it will touch the x-axis where the multiplicity is even. So we have two of those, negative 1 and 0. And if we move to the next question, find the y-intercept of the graph. To find the y-intercept, we would let x equal 0. So f of 0 would be 0 squared times 0 plus 1 squared times 0 minus 1, and we could simplify 0 squared is 0, we have 1 squared and minus 1, 
And since these are being multiplied and one of those numbers is zero, our y-intercept will be the point x equals zero, y equals zero. With these three questions answered, I can see that we have the intercept, zero, zero. I have the graph crossing at one, negative one, and zero. And if I look back to that end behavior, I know it's going up to the right and down to the left. So ultimately, up to the right, down to the left. And we said that it is crossing at one and that it's just touching at zero and minus one. So with that information, I know it's continuing to go up on the right. It's continuing to go down on the left since it's just touching and then coming back to touch. Again, touching at zero, going down, but ultimately coming back to go through one, it'll have essentially this shape.